I got this glass container from the dollar store. I wanted to do glass that way you can see into the pond even from the side and this was kind of like a little prototype I made. I didn't end up using this koi fish because I wanted it to be all orange but I just wanted to see the sizing of how it would look in the container and wow awesome camera skills. <laughs> this is all from the dollar store. I just kind of chose things I could cut up and things that look like they might be in a pond. This is fake moss and anything I got on Amazon will be linked down below. I have a whole Amazon storefront where you can buy all of my resin materials including shipping and organization. This is the koi fish mold that I used and then I just mixed my resin as usual. I am going to go over why it's so important to pick the proper resin depending on the project you're doing. This is art resin and I believe that there's a difference between casting resin and epoxy resin and all that. Maybe I'll do a whole video on it, but this was a resin that's meant for coating, so thin layers, not deep pores like this. Um, and it does affect the work for sure. So I mixed my sand with the resin and I find that sand naturally does produce a lot of bubbles in resin, so I should have just poured this layer and then put the stones on, but that's not what I did, so <laughs> it's okay. I added that to the container. As you can see, it almost looks milky because there's so many bubbles. And if you've seen my work before, that's not usually how my resin turns out. I was trying to use the heat gun just to make it as clear as possible. I added the stones on top. Again, I should have probably done this in two pours, but live and learn. This was also a total experiment. I had no idea if it was going to work or not. I had somebody come to me with this idea and I was just going off of what I felt was right. I didn't really have a reference photo or anything. I was just kind of letting myself be free with it and see if I could make this turn out. And I love when people come to me with suggestions because then they're a part of the creative process and I create things that I would have never thought of on my own. So I absolutely love when people come to me with custom work ideas. I'm doing this all in one sitting, so this second pour I am placing on top right now was not done 24 hours later. This is all still one single pour, which again was probably not the best idea. That's also a reason I love making these tutorials. You guys can learn from my mistakes so you don't have to waste your materials and money. I mixed my resin with some white pigment to make one of the koi fish. I knew I was going to make two, so it was going to take two days to make the koi fish. I'm just using a stick to try and dig out any bubbles that might have come through while I was pouring that. So I trimmed off some of these plants, and I know I should be wearing gloves for this part. Um, sometimes when I get in the moment, I'm just like in this zone and I don't always think of it, but luckily no resin got on my hands or anything, but just please be safe. Again, learn from my mistakes. So yeah, I didn't know how I was going to make these plants stay up on their own, so I kind of tucked them in between certain rocks to try and hold them up. That was stressing me out. I was worried that it was going to fall over while the resin was curing and I wouldn't see it in time, but luckily that didn't happen. I also added some moss. 24 hours later, I took one of the koi fish out of the mold and just kind of removed some of this extra resin with my hands and then very lightly sanded it. I didn't sand it too much. I got these paintbrushes from the dollar store, but I actually think they're pretty decent quality. Um, I started looking at reference photos because I had no idea what I was doing. As you can see, this is a common theme with this project. Usually I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to do. This one I was just winging it. So I obviously made some orange paint with red and yellow and just started going for it. I think that doing resin has pushed me so far out of my comfort zone because I used to be obsessed with perfection and everything turning out properly and now I feel like resin has made me enjoy the process and learning along the way and not making everything perfect which just allows me to have more fun with it and enjoy art as you're supposed to. This is where I started to get a little bit discouraged. I didn't like the bubbles in the first layer. I didn't like the way the koi fish turned out. So this clip here is actually months later when I decided to pick this project back up and not give up on it. I mixed a better orange and started making the sections of orange bigger so it looked more realistic since koi fish kind of have bigger sections of orange rather than little dots like I have on the side. But I did need help so I went back to some reference photos and saw that some koi fish are totally orange so I decided to keep that one orange. I did try to add some white dots to it and whatnot but I hated it so I ended up taking that off with nail polish remover and only painting the front of it white. So I'm trying to do more layers so that it's more pigmented and looks a little bit more realistic. 
Um, I am struggling. Why does my camera never focus? Hello? I am struggling. If you can't tell, I'm definitely not a painter. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> what can you do? I'm just like slowly adding more and more layers of paint. Not going off a reference photo for this one. I'm kind of just like seeing what happens every time I lift my paintbrush. I might just pre-warn this person that I am not a painter. I also put paint all the way up on this and I didn't like the way it looked so I took some of it off. Once the paint dried on the koi fish, I placed it into the container and now it was time to pour. I mixed this deep pour resin by Total Boat. And I was so excited it was finally time to pour and bring this to life. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it all in one pour. But I decided to take the koi fish out for the first little bit of the pour because I wanted to make sure the resin cured underneath them properly. So here we are, the first pour of the water. <laughs> I placed my koi fish back in very carefully. And I just kept repeating the process of pouring a little bit on, then using the heat gun to pop those bubbles you can see in the middle. Is it, I didn't want to pour it all at once, that would create a lot more bubbles, so I just slowly poured layer by layer until everything was completely covered. And this resin does take three days to cure. It's pretty much still in a liquid form even after 24 hours. Super different from anything I've worked with. I love how clear it is. It seriously looks like water because this is meant for deep pores. And I wanted to show you with the flash on. You can see kind of the bubbles in the first layer, but the second layer is crystal clear and looking amazing. I'm so happy with it. I will see you in three days when this is finished curing. Here is the final result. I'm so happy with it for my first ever attempt. I did try to make these fish out of clay and it just did not work. So I'm happy with the resin fish in the end. I'm also very aware that the koi fish are so much bigger than the plants and even the rocks. So we're gonna call this a surrealistic take on a koi pond. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.